After 100 yards, bear left, tall can't drive. Bear left. So there's no bears. So turn. Thank you. At the end of the road, turn right, B472, Joel Street. Turn right. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A404, Plin Road. School time. Go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A404, Plin Road. So that would be the fourth.
sneaky Pete there. Well done. Acceleration, good signal. Some people think it's the best thing because you think they get caught in traffic. I thought people do stupid things when there's traffic, so. <laughs> yes. Good job at the next double roundabouts. So I'll let us know now, and when we get closer, both roundabouts turning left, and we're going to ignore the set map when we get there. I'll repeat all of this again when we get closer. So ignore the sat nav, there'll be two roundabouts coming up where the bus is, both roundabouts After turn left. After 300 yards, turn left, Rickmansworth Road, then turn right. Continue to follow the sat nav. Thank you. Have you ever heard of Dr. Disrespect? You're in trouble recently. There's this old game, Predator. I don't know if you've heard of the movie Predator. Yeah, yeah. So it was a game. And they had the skin of him. Yeah? I'm not going to say what you're in trouble for, but I think you could probably put one or two together. <laughs> so some guy who did a callback to the game and said, the worst skin ever. <laughs> <laughs> you just see him running around in the game, looking weird. Oh, some of the things people come up with are like that. Yeah. I wonder if people make money out of just making memes. They do, right? They must do, yeah. yeah. They just have a channel, right? They just make memes. And then there's channels where people take other people's content. Repost it or re-edit it. <laughs> Have you ever had anyone try to use yours? Oh yeah, loads. It's like 10 or 11 After channels. After 300 yards, across. cross the roundabout and take the first exit, A410, Duxbridge Road. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit.
So this will be hatch end, and then just beyond hatch end uh, will be headstone link. Fish and chip shop here called Sea Pebbles. It's a nice name though. Yeah, sea Pebbles, nice yeah. Different to the star signs. Oh, right, yeah. Well, like near me, I think we've got Aquarius and then Pisces. Yeah, the fish sign and water signs. I'm saying I'm getting hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm very good fish and chips. Right, now we need to do some show me tell me questions. Pass the time on traffic. When it's safe, would you show me how to turn on your dipped beam headlights? Oh, is that the one we just did? It is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just recapping that. Cool, thank you. I find if we do things again and again, it's usually helpful. It's easy to remember. Sometimes I'll go over the same route twice with a student if they want to, just to kind of cement it in, if you like. Yeah. And I see pebbles over there. It's quite big, actually. Mm -hmm. You can see it in, it's usually very busy. And you can smell it now. <laughs> It looks like there's quite a lot of nice restaurants here at Hatch End. Also, not that I'm keen on their ice cream, but Baskin Robbins, you don't really see those too yeah. often. You see that Indian had a picture of Aston Bloom as well. Who? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Interesting. Probably eaten there then, right? <laughs> He's like Mission and Star Chef, right? He is, yeah. yeah. Remember, he used to have that show where he used to make loads of meals that didn't look edible? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember him now. He's the guy with a shaved head, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the glasses, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was weird. Like, they were like After science experiments. Yards, yeah, yeah, they were, cross yeah. the roundabout and take the second exit, A410, Duxbridge Road. the roundabout and take the second exit. Absolutely lovely roundabout. Well done with your lane discipline. That's quite tricky there. 100% inside your lane and you just followed the lane to the exit. All right, the reason why I said the signs, or sorry, the names, is because of the signs. So, uh, what did we say? We said Hatch End, so that's one of them, probably gone past Hatch End now. Um, there might be one that said Headstone Lane up here, I'm not sure. But sometimes it's Stand more than Headstone Lane. So anyways, forget that. That's the people at home, just shouting out the names, just in case the examiner's asking to go there. So you know where we are, and where we're going, um, but we're going to follow After 300 up. yards, Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A410, Duxbridge Road. the roundabout and take the second exit, A410, Duxbridge Road. If you have time to, yes. Next roundabout will be turning right. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, Courtland Avenue. 
go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. nice roundabout well done and just to help us a tiny bit of the exit like a fire exit as soon as you see like where the exit is in the roundabout that road go straight to it so come over to the left a bit earlier that's what okay. I'm trying to say if we wait until we've gone round a bit it might be a bit awkward to exit because it might demand more steering okay. so if we see the exit we just line up with it and just go straight towards it it's just a straighter line easier to get off the roundabout I thought I was seeing things when we exited the roundabout. So I, saw <laughs> <the same> <laughs> I was like, what? I was having an out of body experience. Because <laughs> okay, so the signs will say for everybody at home, Headstone Lane now. We almost finished this independent drive. And then we're going to have a look at the dual carriageway U turn. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, Long Elms. Then take the second left. on the roundabout and take the third exit then take the second left so start steering now yeah and don't move yes that's it yeah yeah it will be quiet now just wanted to highlight that one because i think that's probably the last roundabout gonna do oh, a couple more. All right, I don't know what this area is called. I guess this, oh, this would be Headstone Lane, wouldn't really, it? Because the station's just at the end of the road. Looks like there's a, another school. Oh, another few schools. After 200 yards, turn left, Headstone Lane. You see this driving school coming up down the way? Mm -hmm. You see the stickers on it and stuff, yeah? Yeah. So I looked him up on YouTube. He married a Filipino, put his whole relationship online, and don't want to go to the comment section. <laughs> I thought, I feel so bad for him because... Well, like relationship vlogging or... Yeah. yeah. Because I know he's happy and he's, you know, all that wants to share it. But all of these people were trying to tear him down so badly. It was sad. So, I don't know much about him personally, but I just saw that. So, he was not nice. But I guess you got to be prepared for that if you're going to put that out there, right? People are going to try and tear your relationship down. Doesn't matter how good a relationship you've got. I think that's the sad thing about these people online that you know do the couple videos and stuff like that. A lot of them end up breaking up apparently. Uh, After 80 yards, turn left, Headstone Lane.
at the junction you're thinking of. It was, yeah. I'm sure you all could. I've never been I think it's because you can't really top. see the top of the, the hill. you find the information for the tire pressure and what would you use to check the tire pressure? Uh, you're looking for the uh, manual handbook so. mm -hmm. and use a tire pressure gauge. Lovely. Thank you. After 300 yards, turn right Melbourne Avenue. After 70 yards, turn right, Melbourne Avenue. Turn right. It's nice that we're going to slow. Can you see how much gap there is between the wheels on the vehicle in front? Yeah. Not a lot, is it? No. And this one's twisted as well. Yeah. And then if you have a look ahead, can you see the arrow in the middle of the road? It's the right only arrow. Yeah, that's where you want to be. That's our junction, yeah, for our turn. What going on in such a short space?
There's the new rules now that if there's people crossing like that, you have to give away to them. Correct. She can barely see her best year. I've seen. Yeah, I see that from time to time. Just get a boost to see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it is a good advantage to see. Yeah, the road markings and stuff. After 200 yards, turn left, Greystone Avenue. Like that white shirt. Is the safest place to move over. After 80 yards, turn left, Greystone Avenue. At the end of the road, turn right, George the Fifth Avenue, then sharp left, A404. Turn right, then sharp left.
Mm-hmm. After 100 yards, make a U-turn. Make a U-turn. At some point on the real driving test, the sat nav will say you've reached your destination. You might hear it talking, it's okay. I'm gonna follow the sat nav from now on, anyways. But let's just imagine it said that sat nav's no longer there, so now the exit. After 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A404 Duxbridge Road. Now the examiner will give you the directions instead. So just like the sat nav said at the roundabout, turn left, first exit. Bend. You see this uh, triangle there, turning us as crossroads. Take the next road on the left. Thank you very much. Alright, so long road. We haven't been on this road before actually. So you might have noticed the priority sign there just before the speed bump. Let's see a few more of those here and there. They might alternate. So some of them we have priority, some of them we have to give priority to so we can come back out of those. Funkybeardion.com Is there anyone behind us? <laughs> Who's more important? You or a pigeon? <laughs> well, I hope you say you. <laughs>
able to do a bay park? No. Okay, so just slowly drive ahead. There'll be space on the right side of the road. Do you pull up on the right in front of the motorbike if you can? If not, behind the white van. That's lovely. Thank you. We'll reverse back. Right, lovely. Now, I know it seems really strange because it's not a lot of room, but if you wouldn't mind just reversing back roughly one car length, you'll see a couple of double yellow lines just behind us once mm -hmm. we get the camera on for reversing. If you could just reverse back one car length and stop on the double yellow lines. Thank you. This will be our manoeuvre. Just a little one. Thank you. Yes, you might see these lines here. Mm -hmm. You can just stop on those. That's actually quite nice. Can we just stop us here and just secure the car for me, please? Fantastic. Thank you very much. We'll go one step further. We'll know it's the end of the mock test, a real test. Any time it asks us to power down or switch off. Lovely. That's it. Um, one technicality on this one. So went to the bicycle box on the last one. Uh, I haven't taught it to you. Okay. Uh, if there's a road and it doesn't have any road markings, this usually helps so say i give you a hundred pound and you're going to put a bet what side of the road would you drive on there's no road markings it's just blank like this road nice and wide would you drive on the right middle or left okay left left good okay. now what happens in the u-turn real quick don't laugh at my picture so there's two lanes we're using the right lane we're coming into this junction to turn right. So ideally what we'd like to do in this gap here in the middle, central reservation, is hold the left half of the gap. I was thinking that, but then she was waiting there, so it confused me. The other car did it, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So if there was no car there, we'd want to position ourselves. Correct, yeah. yeah. Regardless if there's a car there or not, what you could do is just look. They're not supposed to be on the right because that's where the opposite side's going to come in. Are there any markings in the road? No. That's why, yeah, some people don't. Yeah. There's a lot of driving instructors that teach their students to position here as well. I've seen a lot of driving instructors do that. So you want to be on the left. Remember, if we're not sure, we drive on the left in this country anyways, right? So if yeah. it's a blank surface, don't know where to go, always just keep left. Yeah. Can't go wrong. So yeah, I just wanted to position there. That's all it was. Okay. Yeah. Apart from that, good work on your approaching speed to junctions, roundabouts, absolutely lovely. I love how you're timing it, you're slowing down on the entry, you're seeing the gaps, early vision, early decision, and then you're just holding that lane and following through, okay? A lot of people don't hold their lanes, you've got good lane discipline, all, roundabouts really good, yeah? Really nice. Keep working on your speed on the approach. There was a couple of, it wasn't a junction actually, normally it's the speed on the approach of junctions. There was a couple of incidents where the traffic stopped, Mm. It, it was it wasn't a big deal, okay. But if you want me to be picky, this is me being picky. Uh, we had little jerks just at some of the traffic jams yeah. as we got to them. Just little jerks, just mm. tiny bits though, nothing yeah. major. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if we had a cup of coffee, the coffee's in the cup, it's mm. not coming out of the cup. Yeah. But that's it. So I'm just trying to refine your your driving just that tiny bit. And um, that was the hardest route as well, okay, because yeah. of the U-turn, yeah. pretty much. Any questions? I don't think so. Well, we'll have a short break yeah. and then maybe we can do another route if you want to. See how you're feeling. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Bye bye, guys.